and we have officially left work for vacation. I am so excited. But hello guys, welcome to, I was about to say Vlogmas. It is not Vlogmas. Welcome to the beginning of my vacation vlogs. I'm so excited to share this week with you. And there's a biker in front of me. Why do bikers have to pretend that they are vehicles on the road? Okay, for some reason my camera just shut off. I'm gonna have to look into that and make sure that that is working because in a couple days, a bunch of us are heading to Toronto for a little trippy trip. Gonna be awesome. Probably gonna get delayed on the way back. I don't know if you guys have heard about all the crazy stuff happening at the big airports across Canada right now, but there are major shortages on both staffing and just like both airport and airline and all that kind of stuff. So it's been crazy hearing about that and it's made me a little nervous, but I've decided now that we are close enough to the trip that I'm forcing myself to not be nervous because everything is going to be fine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm headed to the gym. I'm gonna stop talking now and focus on the road and drink my pre-workout and I will see you guys after the gym. I started eating a pack of these like healthier version of cheese crackers. These are the made good star pop crackers got them in mini packs at Costco. They're kind of like uh, Cheez-Its and those kind of things are like little puffy stars. They're so cute. Um, but they're like a low carb, decently healthy version of them. A bunch of like vitamins in here, vitamin A, C, D, E, thiamine, B6, uh, only 4.5 grams of fat, 13 grams of carbs, that's pretty good. Only one gram of protein, but what do you expect? They're not marketed as like a protein product. I'm finally back to the gym consistently for two weeks now. I took the winter off because, well, a couple of reasons. Mom wasn't very well and she was deemed immuno immunocompromised. So back then the COVID risk was still really high at the gyms in terms of contracting it. So I didn't want to risk it. So that was one thing, but I was also a, a lot busier because I was helping take care of mom while working full time and also in school part-time online, so self-study. So I was pretty busy, so I decided, you know what? It's not worth me even trying to fit this in right now. I'm just gonna take a break from working out at the gym. So that's what I did. So I'm finally back to it now. So yeah, I'm finally on summer break with school. I only have five courses left, which is super exciting. I'll hopefully be able to take three in September, and then the last two in January. And then I'm gonna apply for a work exemption. Um, no, sorry, a work term exemption because I've already been working in my field for the past year. So work is going to help me with that. And uh, yeah, sorry about the weird contrast, but there's sun in my eyes. Anyway, let's drive home and eat these crackers. Okay, I just tried to vlog a clip and all of a sudden like the camera just like kind of froze and shut off on me. Kind of strange. Hopefully that is not going to be an issue. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully for this week my camera will be okay. But what I was trying to say was that I figured this would be a good time to sit down and tell you guys what is planned for my week off. Seeing as this is my vacation vlog or the leading up to vacation vlog. I don't know how I will title it, but you get the idea. So today is Friday. On Tuesday, Jill and I are flying up to Toronto. We are staying with a couple of other people, including Morgan, who you guys have met before. Yeah, we're going to Toronto for six nights, which is super exciting. I have not been off this island since 2019 when mom and I went to New York, and therefore I have not travel vlogged, and travel vlogs are my favorite vlogs. I love filming those because they're great for me too. They're memories and they're usually more interesting than my at-home vlogs. So yeah, I'm really excited to do travel vlogs again. We fly up on Tuesday around, I think we're scheduled to fly out around lunchtime. I'm not anticipating too much issues flying up. Coming back might be a bit different. A lot of people have been getting delayed and losing luggage and all that stuff. Speaking of luggage, we are not checking bags on the way up. 
if we need to buy a suitcase up there after shopping and send it home, we will. Because at least if it gets delayed a couple days, you know, we're home then, so we have the rest of our belongings. We're flying with carry-on, which, I mean, I have taken carry-on suitcases before, but I've always also checked a bag. I've never traveled with just a carry-on and personal item before, so... This is very new to me. I've revised my packing list at least three times. You guys know, if you know me in real life, I am the list queen. I always have a list. Yeah, I've gone through that list and narrowed it down as much as I can. I just hope it all fits and that I can lift it. Pack also, packing just liquids and having to buy things there, like I'm so stressed about that. I've never done that before. And I'm just like, I love my cosmetics. It's kind of what I started my channel about with like makeup and skincare. So like having to narrow down what I bring and things like that. Oh, I had to go out and buy a new carry-on suitcase because Air Canada changed the dimensions of the suitcases that they allow. They've made them smaller since I bought that gray haze luggage for New York. We're staying for six nights in an Airbnb in the very like heart of downtown, like really close to the water and the Scotiabank Arena, that area. And we are going to a Blue Jays game, which is why I'm watching the game right now. They are killing it against the Red Sox. I think they're playing in Boston. Yeah, that looks like Fenway Park. They are winning 25 to three, which is apparently the most, like the biggest score they have ever had in the history of the franchise. So go Blue Jays. So yeah, we're gonna hit up a baseball game together. Um, the entire group as a whole. That'll, that'll be on Thursday. Friday, we are heading to a music festival in Downsview Park. It's called Veld. Um, I've never been to a big music festival before, so this is a new experience for me. And we're also gonna hit up some good restaurants and go shopping and... Yeah, I think we're gonna hit up the aquarium as well. So that's a little preview of what's coming. I think that is it for tonight. I might go change my bed sheets or put away some laundry or something. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. And I've been dealing with some laundry this morning, as you just saw. And now I'm about to make a smoothie. Again, lighting horrible. Wow. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, that's apartment living, I guess. I'm gonna make a smoothie. So I figured I would share with you guys what I put in my smoothie because I have my favorite recipe pretty much down pat. Oh, I forgot an ingredient, hang on. All right, so I start with frozen berries. My favorite combo is blueberries and raspberries. Raspberries I buy in the big bags at Costco. And these blueberries are actually local blueberries from last year. So that's kind of nice, a little fancy. Uh, for protein powder, my favorite is the Dynatize ISO 100 Hydrolyzed in Gourmet Vanilla, which looks like that. It's expensive, but it's worth it. The texture is so good. I'm also putting in a bit of the Arbonne Be Well Superfood Greens. My girl Morgan hooked me up. I will leave her Arbonne link down below. I'm also putting in probably a tablespoon of this mixture, which is hemp hearts, flax seeds, and chia seeds. So that is my smoothie recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the blender. Sometimes I put almond butter in there too, but it makes it harder to clean the uh, the smoothie thing. What's it called? The, the cup that I blended it in. Hey guys, it is Sunday. It is the next day. I don't know if you can hear it. My voice is feeling a little strained, which is making me feel very nervous. Yesterday around two o'clock actually, so around this time, oh, it's exactly two o'clock. I started to feel like a sore throat come on and like a headache and my body was like aching all over. I did not feel very well. And I was panicked, like extreme panic because I leave not tomorrow, but the next day. So yeah, my throat is feeling better. It's not as painful. I definitely still feel it when I swallow. That's nowhere nearly as bad as yesterday, unless I'm talking for a while. So it, I'm hoping it was just a, like a dehydration thing, like heat stroke. Even though I wasn't out in the sun yesterday at all or the day before, um, not really sure how that happened. But anyway, I feel fine today other than my throat. So after the gym, I went to Walmart and I figured I would show you what I got. Um, I did get a few new fun treats to try. These are the new Smart Sweets lollipops. Uh, haven't tried those yet or the Smart Sweets Jolly Gems hard candy, so we'll try those later at some point. So I picked up some 
hauls. So I got the honey and lemon and the vitamin C. I also got the mini uh, hauls, the little Travis size. Never had those before, kind of bougie. We'll see what they're like. Got a small thing of Reactin to take with me on the trip. Just trying to take as small of packages of medications as I can. And I also got a mini Tylenol. And I got some strawberries, which are already in the fridge some chewable vitamin C and D, and I got a case of mini ginger ale. So hopefully that will help me clear up whatever the heck is going on in my throat right now. burnt. I'm starting to think I got heat stroke because I burnt my face like on the way home from work or something. Like, my face is so red. I'm still sweating. It is really hot. Uh, but yeah, as you guys saw, I did my makeup brushes. I got them all cleaned up. Got my face masks washed. And now, after my shower, I've shaved and exfoliated because I have a spray tan tomorrow. We are actually putting together the outfits so we can start packing preparations. So this is the first outfit. This is more of a going out to supper outfit. So this is a pair of plus size Levi 501 shorts. I got these from Pennington's in Mount Pearl. And this shirt is also from Pennington's. It's like a loose silk camisole. It's like drapey here in the front. And uh, it's got adjustable straps, which I love. So yay, okay. That is outfit number one that is definitely coming. I love this. I feel like so trendy and cute in this. All right, next up we have this dress from Old Navy. I got it last year. I really like how flowy it is and it's super comfy. I love the little ruffle at the bottom. And this is the jacket that I'm gonna bring for all my outfits. It's a denim jacket. This is from Reitman's, I believe. All right, these two shirts are definitely coming with me and they have designated purposes. So this is a cut up shirt from The Office. <laughs> we ordered them off like a, just like one of those random t-shirt websites. We're all wearing t-shirts to Veld that pertain to The Office. So mine is the one with the Dementor quote, of course, in Prison Mike. And then this is the shirt that I am wearing to the Jays game on Thursday. Super cute, love that. Here is another outfit idea. Yeah. So these shorts are from Torrid and this bodysuit is from Old Navy. It's kind of baggy in the crotch. It's a little long for my body, but if it's tucked into shorts, I don't think that's gonna matter. So yeah, I am feeling this outfit. I feel like this would definitely be my second pair of shorts. I'm thinking this for a daytime option. These are the same Levi shorts and this tank top is from Old Navy last year. I think it would be really cute together. The only thing is, it doesn't really match the other shorts that I'm bringing, like that's a lot of clashing floral, but I feel like this might be worth packing still. Not sure. Undecided. This is the other daytime option I'm thinking. This one I'm a little more self-conscious in because it's skin tight, uh, but I do think this one would be able to match with these at least, like it would match both my shorts. So kind of debating this one as well. Planning to bring a black cami tank top, you can't go wrong, right? I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? I feel like this could work. This might be a smarter option, just where it matches both shorts. Well, hello guys. It is now Monday afternoon. I haven't talked to you guys much today. I wasn't feeling that great this morning. So I had a little bit of rest while I was watching the Pope apology. And uh, yeah, thankfully I'm feeling significantly better now. So that is great. Um, still sound a little nasally, I think, which I'm a little concerned about, but we are doing our best to hydrate and stay positive. <laughs> I am headed out to run a couple of errands. I have to get some money out from the bank, and then at 5.15, I have a spray tan appointment up in the East End. So, that is what I'm doing right now. I'm I swear you guys, I'm gonna look much less sweaty and frizzy and crazy, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, in the next couple of vlogs. <laughs> As you can tell, my spray tan is developing, definitely looking dark, looking a little crazy, 
um, but that's okay. I look so red on camera right now. Wow, I don't look that red in person, I feel. Anyways, I just wanted to come on and end the vacation prep vlog. I'm about to get my camera charger plugged in the wall, ready to go for tomorrow morning. So I hope you enjoyed this vacation prep vlog and I will be back soon with my actual Toronto vlogs. Bye.